I spent six hours on Palomar Mountain, and now I had just four and a half hours before nightfall to get to Julian, Mount Laguna, and Lake Kiamaka. When I came to this area, I had to pull over and fly the drone because it was so refreshing. But there was one more stop along the way before I would get to the Julian area. It has been said that this is one of those lakes where you can get a feel for what it was like hundreds or even thousands of years ago. At the southern end of the Palomar Mountains is Lake Henshaw. It is approximately 70 miles northeast of San Diego and 100 miles southeast of Los Angeles. The lake was constructed in 1923 with the building of the Henshaw Dam. This used to be part of the San Luis Rey River, and the water served the Rincon, La Jolla, Palma, Pala, and San Pasqual bands of Indians. This was a nice little stop which I had all to myself. The little town of Santa Isabel was next, and it had some magnificent reds and yellows. And I picked up a couple of pies for my parents from the Julian Pie Company. Then I checked out the Santa Isabel Art Gallery for the first time. If the website is correct, it opened in the early 1990s. They apparently have a room dedicated to James Hubble, an internationally recognized artist, poet, and builder who lives in Santa Isabel. This was my favorite painting. And that's the post office. And I returned to Dudley's Bakery. Last year I saw their Christmas decorations, so I was pleased to see their fall decorations. I really love how they put all the work into putting these out. This year, I got a loaf of rosemary olive oil bread to bring home. This was my first proper visit to the Julian Farm and Orchard, located in Winola. The farm is 25 acres. Activities include tractor-pulled hay rides, a rock climbing wall, axe throwing, and more. They host You Pick Apples and have a beautiful pumpkin patch in September and October of each year. And if there's a gift shop, I have to see it. Then I made it to Julian, and more specifically, the Julian Library. This was my first time enjoying this place. Actually, I would like to say that going to the same places and doing the same things can get dull, so that is why I switch things up. Last year I flew over this place and I did not know what it was. This time I had a better view, and now I know that it is Ranchita del Rio, which was established in 1942. They are another hot spot for apples and other local delights. And one last look at the library. Then I was headed to Mount Laguna, and I had to deal with multiple rude, aggressive, horn-honking drivers. I mean, I don't know these roads, and I don't want a ticket or a wreck. And your freaking horn doesn't control my driving. Otherwise, the actual drive in the park was beautiful. Christmas time is near. 
like gift shops. If there is a visitor center, I have to go check it out. There were two very friendly women who were apparently friends, and I learned from them that they were avid hikers and world travelers. One of the women was impressed to meet a YouTuber in real life, and honestly, I was happy to meet another YouTube enthusiast like myself. They told me I was only the third visitor of the entire day. But my time was growing short, and it was time to go. This is the Mount Laguna Air Force Station, located atop Mount Laguna with a steep drop into the Anza Borrego Desert. This station was used to identify potential enemy aircraft and determine whether or not to take action. This station was built in 1952. The United States Air Force left the station in 1981 and now the FAA manages this site. Personally, I think structures like this add so much to the landscape and make it much more interesting. By the way, I planned my arrival to avoid high winds. I am a firm believer in planning. Then it was time to go to Lake Kiamaka. Golden hour was happening during my drive, so I would be a little late, but even then, these views beat looking at the walls. I can see the pine trees now, swaying here and there. They seem to know it's Christmas time with joy and everywhere. Ice froze on the branches, the water cool and clear. Snowflakes falling, Christmas time is near. I made it to Lake Kiamaka in time for twilight and dusk. There was a nice chill in the air. And then I found this nice little area to view the lake up close. I went to the pub at Lake Kiyomaka, which is next to the tackle shop, and I checked out the store. From the pub, I got garlic parmesan tater tots, and they were very flavorful. Then it was time to go and deal with the dark country roads, but the memories are beautiful and worth it. I got to see Julian at night for the first time, and I bought an energy drink in the town's general store. My last stop was Farmhouse 78. I really wish I had time to eat here. It was super cozy, but at least I got a mint julep lemonade for the road, which was very good. I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe found some magic along the way.